Dear Lord, be with me as I share these thoughts and my knees quake because speaking in front of people is not my forte. Amen. Please be seated. Before I start, I should tell you I inherited my father's math skills and not his oratory gifts. I stink at math. My name is Syra Borsi, and I direct youth ministry here at St. Mark's. That means that I'm really good at sleeping on floors and have eaten my share of pizza over the years. It also means that my spiritual life has been largely formed in a way that is probably different from yours. Add to this the other interest in my life, which is death, dying, and bereavement, and you've got yourself a very peculiar set of books in your personal library. Beyond deserving, children, parents, and responsibility revisited. In defense of childhood, protecting kids' inner wilderness. These live next to spirituality, healing, and medicine. Sacrament as healing and mortality. I'm not sure if I were to die tomorrow and folks checked out my bookcase, what thoughts would go through their heads? I do know that my husband wouldn't be able to explain my choice of reading material. Maybe he'd shrug and say, it's what she was into. So I think you'll agree that these are very different subject matters to be interested in. Full disclosure, the other items in my library have to do with the diaconate. I started working with young people while I was in graduate school at Columbia. I was pursuing my master in public health degree and working on a project providing services to HIV positive women, children, and their families in Upper Manhattan. A colleague had an adolescent program and we decided to offer a drop-in group for at-risk youth. These young people, high school age, 9th through 12th grade, were at risk for substance use, they were sexually active, and exposed to physical and emotional violence and more. The group met once a week and we had about 7 to 10 kids that would attend. We fed them pizza from a shop around the corner. It's Washington Heights, Broadway at 168th Street. We really should have been eating arroz and gandulas and pranil, but whatever. <laughs> the upper floors of the Department of Health building had been taken over by the School of Public Health. One of those floors had a conference room, long, shiny table with fancy chairs. I can't remember the artwork, but I do remember it had nothing to do with public health. <clears throat> it didn't matter. What mattered was that the kids came once a week, week after week, for two hours after school. We ate together and talked about issues in their everyday lives. Their friends that got pregnant, the violence that they witnessed in their neighborhoods and experienced in their own lives. I fell in love with them, each and every one. The kids came to us because they could just be. They laughed together and learned together. They helped design a brochure that would educate peers about HIV AIDS and sexually transmitted diseases. They shared the information and invited these peers to be part of our group. When I left these young people to move overseas in 2003, my heart broke. I wanted to take them all with me. For a time, I thought, wouldn't it be great if they could all visit? I never articulated this to my husband. However, I think he would have thought I was crazy. It wouldn't be the first time. When I started attending Christ the King in Frankfurt, I was blown away. I was blown away by the community from top to bottom. After about six months of being there, our rector, Alan Sandlin, announced that they were looking for two people to take over youth leadership. You know when someone is speaking to you from the lectern and you feel that message is for you? That was me in the back pew. The hair is on the back of my neck rising to attention and me getting shivers. Yep, that's the Holy Spirit in my body talking to me saying, Syrah, this is your gig. 
I didn't know Alan very well yet. I was quiet. I know that's hard to believe. Um, I was taking things in and trying to figure my way in the new place that we had landed. Alan's face was sort of priceless when I walked up to him after the service on the day of the announcement and I said to him, I think I'm supposed to help you. We should talk. After having a conversation with him about my wanting to help lead youth ministry, he agreed. Now, if the first group of youth in Washington Heights led me to love this age group, the youth at CTK, Christ the King, took me to the next level, a love of faith through witnessing theirs.